it's not far at all to walk, it's just bloody, um, yeah, just steep. I mean, like, I crawled out, that sort of steep. Now that is a waterfall. Damn. Yeah, so the plan today is uh, go find this Mobong Falls. Should be able to find it. Got some pretty good instructions and info on how to get there. And yeah, inspired by a fellow YouTuber. I'll give you some details soon. But that is the plan. Find Mobong Falls. And there's a um, cascade they call. Mobong Cascade. Which is three or four meters high. So I might go there. End up too hot, I'll jump in. So that is the plan. But first I'm gonna soak up a bit of this place. Cause this is nice. Oh, what a cool little spot. A few young fellas down for a swim. But yeah, nice little spot. Didn't even know it was here. Good old Google Earth, eh? Alright. Out of Caramba. Start going up um, Eastern Dorigo Way. Start exploring up there. So this run up here just gets nicer and nicer. Get higher and into the rainforest stuff again. Subtropical rainforest. And we'll get cooler. Not that it's overly hot today. Today's um, bloody nice compared to yesterday. Yesterday was 37 at Kempsey. Today's about 28. So I'll take that. So we're up there now, 616 metres. Temperature's bloody beautiful. Yeah, not too far now, now I'll get to the turn off. Turn off to this Mobong Falls. I think it's Little Bobo Road. And follow that along for a bit. Yeah, if you're ever up this way, make sure you call into Yulong. Great little country town just down the valley there. And you actually, there's a, um, I can just see the pub. It's that sort of uh, burgundy colour building. But yeah, good food and a bloody nice spot to um, just to rest up midway between Dorigo and Caramba, really. Alright, I'm going to keep going. Keep wandering on. 
and uh, make my way to, I think, Little Bobo Road or Upper Bobo or something. I'll find it. Yeah, that was a um, strange little run up here. You can see the cloud up there. Literally drove through the cloud and out into sunshine again. But I'm 600 metres up. So the air temp's bloody nice. Even though it was full sun back there at Yulong. So I'll keep wandering along a bit now and yeah, try and find this turn off. Yeah, there's quite a few nice waterfalls up this way. I've only seen a couple of the main sort of ones. And yeah, this Mobong Falls, apparently one of the biggest. Oh, I'd never even heard of it, so. And you know I like exploring waterfalls, so. Anyway, actually I'm pretty good at looking for them and finding the wrong ones, so. I think I've done that on three occasions now. <laughs> so hopefully I can find this one. We'll have a, uh, have a look around. I'll see if it's, see if I can get down the bottom. It's not too sketchy. And I'll at least fly the drone off it. But I've got pretty good directions. So I should be able to get there. So back on the Little Bobo River. Oh, she's running nice again. This would have been wildly underwater about a week ago. A bit longer, you can see the flood debris up here. So I've sort of come in a settling down period. I think that um, 200 mil of rain one day up, up across, or probably up around here. And they had another 100 the other day, so they get plenty of rainfall and those waterfalls have been going crazy. I'll put up a couple of pictures of the ones on Waterfall Way. They went absolutely nuts about a week and a half ago. So I'm at the tail end of all that, so it should be running nice. Nothing full on I don't think, but it's just a nice little flow to these falls. So you know you're getting somewhere when the road starts shrinking. So yeah, I mean, I'm sort of on the edge of the National Park by the looks of it. This is a measuring hut road, I think it's called. Which should get me there. But I went past a Mobong walking track just a minute ago. So on the way out, I'll call into there because there's a picnic area. And there's that little cascade thing I want to check out. Not sure where it is but I'll piece it together. Oh, she's changed a bit in here now. So I'm obviously in an area that's heavily logged. A lot of um, plantation trees. So if you went up say that track there you just get to um, full plantation area. But yeah I give it a flog in the old loggers. So it's definitely not National Park now. I think I went through that Cascade National Park. Now it's just, um, yeah, just forestry. <laughs> forestry Trail, Forestry um, forestry Commission, I guess that's what they used to be called. But yeah, she's a bit flogged, she's a bit um, decimated. Yeah, I reckon the top of this hill will give a, a good view south, looking back at the um, all the logging, so we'll Pull up up here and have a bit of a look. Ooh. Been relatively flat, it's just, it's probably the first hill I've come to. She's a <laughs> bumpy house track. Alright, what do we got? 
Yeah, you can see all the yeah the tall timbers, the original stuff, and where it's been logged. Damn, eh? They like, certainly replant it. Like I'm not, I don't like seeing forests get wiped out, but they um they do replant it pretty full on. There's a lot of a lot of new growth, a lot of new gum trees in here. But there's a lot taken out, so yeah. View it how you will. Apparently I'm 3k from the waterfall. That way. Whew. Everything looks closer on the map. <laughs> so where are we at now? We gotta get rid of that. You have arrived. Okay. Um up or down? Up or across? We'll go across first. Probably that up track, I don't know yet. We'll find out. Well, I'm going down. Because you got to get to the creek before you can get to the waterfall, right? All right. I think. I think. I think. I think. Now she's getting more rugged. I think I'm there. I think the creek's here. <laughs> Alright, she's a mystery. Ah, oh, yes. This be it. Well done, Phil. And well done to Sam for um, inspiring me to come here. So, it looks like you can cross the creek and keep going, but I won't be doing that. Um, we go down a bit. Damn. <laughs> There's a good hole in the ground over there. Yeah, okay, so you cross the creek, go up and loop your way back. Obviously, that's the waterfall. I'm... Well, I made it. It's, uh, yeah, a bit of a bumpy old track. But all good. Six or seven k's. So the water's just flowing nicely. It's not raging. Just trickling along well. I could imagine it in full swing, it'd be going pretty crazy. Ooh, what do we got? Damn. So I may go, I may get the drone, take it out on that point, send the drone out. Have a good look. And see how um, energetic I feel. I might get down the bottom too. I might climb down the bottom. Go try and find this side track. Give it a bit of a go. 
like I said, if it's too sketchy and beyond what I feel like doing, I'll, I'll tap out, but we'll find out. Somewhere here-ish. <laughs> All right, this looks like it. There is a track. Should meander its way down. Hopefully gradually. Because I don't do vertical. Yeah, not much of a track so far, but it's, um, we'll see how it goes. So I was advised the track would be, it's quite steep. Not very long, but steep. And it's, um, yep, it's proving to be that. Pretty cool, buddy. Rock face, probably a bit hard to see, but I'm sort of dropping down the rock face. Um, sort of around it, down and around. Um, yeah. You're gonna be covered in sweat coming back out. Already sweating. <laughs> I don't know if this will do it any justice, but one of these cliffs. So pretty well drop from the top, down, around, and getting sort of parallel to the waterfall. But yeah, damn. Still going down though. Yep. Proper sweat. And that's um and that's going down, that's a worry. If I'll get out the top, probably jump in one of them pools. But I reckon I'm getting somewhere, I'll keep going. That way. Down. Well I made it. I am fully sweating. And holy shit. Oh, look at this bloody get me breath back. Have a look at this for a view. Damn. Wow. This is crazy. Woo! Damn. Covered in spray. Feels beautiful. But look, he's just up. That is one cool waterfall. Whew. So the reason I'm even in this spot in the first place, there's a young fella from Coffs Harbour named Sam. He's got a YouTube channel called Harbour Explore. He's got a passion for waterfalls and it drives him to go to places like this. So that is relatable. And so yeah, thanks Sam for um, inspiring me to come here. Yeah, I'm blown away. Probably won't go any lower. It's enough slippery rocks. But yeah, wow, that's all I got, wow. All right guys, I'm out of here. I'll leave this crazy waterfall and I'll go find, try and find that small cascade area. At least get the picnic table and have a feed. But um, yeah, I don't know what you think of this, but damn, I'm impressed. All right, now to get covered in sweat climbing out. It's not all good. <laughs> all right, see you at the top. Well, I ain't gonna lie, that was hard work. I nearly got lost coming up, just a little bit. Straightened it out, but damn, not on my knees. So easy going in, and then you gotta crawl out. All right, I need to cool down. This water's looking inviting. Oh yeah. All right, Mobong Falls, I'm out of here. I've just recovered and um, I need to get some airflow. But damn, yeah, that is a pretty serious walk in there. Look, it's, it's not far at all to walk. It's just bloody 
Um, yeah, just steep. I mean, like, I crawled out that sort of steep. <laughs> Young and fit, it would be easy. All right, keep going. See, see if we can find the Cascades. I worked out one thing, the picnic area at least is straight ahead. Zoomed in on the map, looks like it's about a kilometre or so up here. But at least get there, get some food and try and work out where this other little waterfall is. Ooh, warming up. Alrighty, at the picnic area, I go for a wander, a few people in there, I just wander through it, try and find this waterfall, it's somewhere up here. I was off track for a bit, I went the wrong way, it's not a very well defined track but yeah, apparently about 500 metres I will get to the Cascades, cool. This is an easier walk than that other waterfall. That was exhausting, but I'm old. Yeah, one thing with rainforest, they're nice and cool. A little bit steamy, but like the temperature's not hot. It's probably, it wouldn't even be 30, it'd be 28, 25. I haven't recovered from the other walk. But um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely cooler in here than than elsewhere, and I can hear a waterfall. I think I'm getting somewhere. There you go, eh? Not sure how you get down. I reckon down here. Woohoo! That is a cool little waterfall. I'll get over there in a minute. Um, I'll have to get in the water to show you this one, which is not a bad idea. Oh, she cool. Got some big rocks in her. I'll be free to soften a bit. Wow. Woohoo! Awesome, that is nice. Put this GoPro down somewhere and um, go have a look at her. Quite cool, nice though. Eh? Pretty deep. Awesome. Alright. Back in the shallows. <laughs> that is nice. Alright, heading way back. Still haven't eaten, get a feed. And start winding my way back down the coast. End up back at Cox Harbour. I'll go to the, probably grab fish and chips back on Cop Harbour itself. See how I go for time. But mate, it's bloody beautiful in here. Across the big rocks. Owies. <laughs> Ow. Feet aren't used to them. Alright, catch you back on the bike. 
All right. So a few people here just in the picnic area. A few holiday makers, but no one at the waterfall. So I'm going to head back and, um, yeah, just head back to Coffs Harbour, grab a feed down eastern Dorigo. Because I'm starving. Burn up my wheat picks going down that bloody waterfall. Alright, I'll show you a little bit as we go. Dying. If I can open it. <laughs> Beautiful. Tarte sauce, whiting, chips. Too easy. That fish is awesome. Alright, I'm pretty well out of here. Finish off my lunch and up. Alright, we'll catch you on the next one.